Your time is running out, Matt Phil. <laughs> What's up, queer mates? <laughs> I, I gotta be honest, the only reason I said that is because the guy with the Argyle said it. He said faggots, so I said queer mates. I wanted to change it, but you guys thought for him, so I gave it a shot. <laughs> um, the, the thing about that, I don't even know what a queer bait is. Like, I don't say it to you, meaning like you guys are the bait for homosexuals. <laughs> maybe two or three. <laughs> maybe. But really, I use it because of him, and also because it was my favorite insult in first grade, fifth grade. Do you guys remember? Do you guys all say this? I love it. Like, Queer bait. And everybody was like, oh, burn. <laughs> no matter what they said, they went, you're short, but you're a queer bait. I win. <laughs> so as I was sitting there thinking about him saying queer bait or bag, and I said queer bait, I got to thinking about the fifth grade. We played Smear the Queer a lot in fifth grade. You guys, you well played. If you guys don't know, I'll tell you the rules. You need, you need a bunch of people and a ball. And you throw the ball in the air, and whoever catches you, you go queer, and you beat them up until you jump the ball. And that's the game. Smear the Queer. And all that. So I. And I'm having it, we're all going to have a flashback together. We're going to fifth grade. And, um. So, I just remember my teacher, Mr. Williams, I remember him telling us, coming up to recess, and he's just like, kids, kids, um, by all means, play a smear of the queer, it's a great game. He's like, not pissed off these all, but don't beat the queer so hard. And, and I think about that, and I'm like, sweet Moses, they taught us how to commit a hate crime in the fifth grade. <laughs> that was curriculum. I can't do long division. I can't. I remember clearly, 33 years old, how to commit a hate crime. <laughs> Not to worry, though. I've never actually committed a hate crime. I, I haven't done it. I'm very PC. I, I don't mean to be PC. It's an accident. But I'll tell you how I became PC. Um, I was at work the other day. Uh, did anybody here work in an office? Did anybody here work in a cubicle? So I'm sitting in my cubicle, and I've been sad because my job hasn't been challenging lately, and I've been depressed about that. And then I found out that on Spider Solitaire, you can play with four decks. <laughs> you, you play. It's the hardest thing on earth. I could fix the economy if I ever figure out how to beat that. <laughs> That's not my point. So this girl walks in, my lady I work with, and she goes, you're a racist. Up. And she's like, no, seriously, you saved the black decks to finish last. And I don't like that. Does that, does that make me racist? Like, it, it affected me. And I didn't want there to be this tension, her thinking I'm racist. So I was just like, we should smooth things over. In my mind, I said that we should smooth this over. And I said, you know, if you would have used that gym membership your husband bought you, he wouldn't have left you. <laughs> <You're vain. laughs> But anyways, that's not my point. Am I racist? I'm almost done. Am I racist? And I realize I'm not. I'm not racist at all, and I'll tell you why. Remember Michael Vick? He liked killing dogs. That was his thing. Remember how, do you guys hate him for that? Yeah. 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 The first thing I thought about Michael Vick was, man, he's going to lose a lot of money for this. I like money more than dogs. <laughs> I don't like dogs at all, but I like money a lot. <laughs> but what I realized, if you and I were hanging, if we were friends, we're not, but hypothetically, <laughs> and I'm standing up here and he come running up and you're like, dude, bro, I've got a cobra and a mongoose. I'm going to throw them in a pit and make them fight. I would go. <laughs> we don't even have to be friends. If you do that tonight, I'll freaking go. <laughs> joke was like a million dollars, but the economy's rough, so my pretend bets have gone down to ten dollars. I'm just saying, my dream is for me, Michael Vick, to hang out with ten dollars and watch a cobra and a mongoose fight. So I'm not racist. <laughs>